yo what is going on everybody my name is Zeno. welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button turn on that notification bell and let's get right into this cooling game guys i don't know if you watched the Valor series yesterday but i was popping off on my cooling yesterday i was going insane you know just kill after kill i was camping the enemy jungler so hard i was camping any squishy on their team it was a disaster so if you guys can please go to the facebook um videos the arena valor official facebook go check out the past history for valor series we're guaranteed now we're in the first place seed to go to australia to play in the finals where we're going to pl be playing versus top na and s <laughs> guys i can't even talk we're going to be playing versus the top eu and sa teams so i will give you guys updates on that as well maybe record some of those scrims if you guys would like but enough about that We'll think about that when the time comes. Let's focus on this cool gameplay. So I'm going to start blue because I feel like it, you know, I usually start blue with every game. That's just my comfort style. Sometimes, of course, I'll switch it up in competitive play just to be a little bit less predictive. But in ranked, most of the time I do start with my blue. Anyways, you're going to end up on her this dragon side. We have an Ignis bot, probably because the Ignis thought my Elsu was going to be a side laner, but actually the Elsu wanted to be mid, so hoon on that elsu there is going to actually be my mid laner while the sickness is stuck here bot but at least he gets the extra gold so he's probably not complaining too much anyways we're going to clear that with him pick up some nice extra gold clear the bird for another 50 gold and we're just going to leave because there's not much more for us to do there we can see the dragons up we can see actually a top lane the richter's dying so since the batman started ganking on top lane we know now that Batman worked from blue to red to top lane, so we know that his blue is spawning since me and him started blue. I'm going to take this drag right here because we have to trade objectives. They got a kill, so we need to go and pressure this drag. It doesn't matter if this Baldum's trying to act all scary by standing in right in front of me. He can't do anything about me taking it. I see this Jinar trying to jump onto my ADC. He walks up, he eats a snipe to the face. That was just disgusting guys he took like 50 percent of his hp i would just walk in and clean up then i hop over to this blue because like i said the batman must have started to go blue side if he ended up ganking top lane because if you just you know make a line from blue to red to top lane it all works out so we now know the batman's jungle rotations which is very nice and i'm not going to stay around to clear those two camps next to batman's blue i'm just going to walk around go back to my jungle make sure that it's not getting stolen by anyone because a lot of people like to invade me up here, but it's also a good idea for you guys just to make sure that, you know, you don't want to be getting too greedy on the other side of the map and either get caught or you end up losing your blue because you're not there to defend it. But anyways, we just pick up basically a free blue, then we go back into our jungle clear and everything's as normal. You can see here that there's some fighting going on. I see the ball in here, so I'm just going to jump on him, use my punish to guarantee we kill him. I'm going to jump onto them under tower. Use my first skill, guys. Notice how I use my first skill um, on Quillen. I, I'll w walk up to the target. I'll use my first skill, and then I'll walk away while I'm still hitting them. You don't have to stay still. You don't have to chase them with while you're using your first skill. You know, the little two animations of the basic attacks. It will go off either way. So you can make some distance between yourself and the target you know if, you, if it's a sticky situation and you need to get that kill where you can just use your first skill and walk away i'll try and put it out whenever i see it again in this video but we again we rotate top lane because we see that this res is extremely low we also know that our blue is spawning soon so of course we're going to want to stay near our top side the various flickers over the wall so we're not even able to pick up the kill but as you can see the blue side is respawning we're going to pick up this bird really quick and if you guys noticed batman walked over and took this red as soon as he ganked my richter uh last rotation so actually it's just going to be up you can see the batman's around here too and we actually get vision on him from our vision bird he has to ult away and he is at half hp now the jinar is over here so we're just going to poke him out while he tries to jump onto my elsu the Scud actually walks down here too from bottom for no, I don't even know why he's here, but uh, it's a party at mid, it's a party right now at mid lane, and pretty much everyone's here, it's a free for all, this is the real battle royale guys, not Fortnite, not PUBG, <laughs> it's Arena of Valor, 5v5 in the mid lane, but yeah that all works out so we're just going to go back into our jungle of course we're, not, we're wasting no time as soon as that fight's over we just hop over to our blue 
and go and get that done because we want to be finishing this jungle clear asap we want to be getting as fit as possible we have the kills at this point we just need the farm and the objectives so you know we can't get too focused on staying outside of our own jungle even though we have all the kills we still need to be farming efficiently or else we will go fall behind we can see the batman here actually finishes off my elsu i think about jumping on to somebody here but there's three people four people now with the genar that are all full hp that is a big no-no so you can see that i was waiting in my ulti there kind of just stalling near the scud to see what was going on and excuse me we couldn't actually make up anything, so notice yeah, how I didn't rush using my ultimate and start hitting that Scud as soon as he was targeting my targeting my Ignis. But yeah, anyways, we walk straight to mid after that happens. Again, we pick up this red and we jump onto the Varys who actually misses all of her skills because we ult away from the red buff fast enough. You can see that I was kind of walking with her towards her while she was using her passive that's so i would be right next to her when her passive procs and we wouldn't take any damage she wouldn't get any extra life steal so it was just to avoid that well played by us but it didn't even matter because she died before the passive even proc you can see them just waiting in the mud bush here just waiting for my ultimate to come up and as soon as i get my ultimate up actually guys this is important here notice how i didn't use my ultimate and then my second skill and first i went in with my second skill before I did anything, use my first skill too, just to poke. And a lot of the times, this is the best thing to do on the Quillen. Because if I use my ultimate there, I use my second skill as well, we wouldn't have had an escape. So it would have been a hundred times more risky to just use my ultimate and then my second skill, because then I have no dashes. If I just go in with my second skill and then use my ultimate as a getaway then it's far less risky here you can see that i jump onto the scud he actually hits me with his ult and for some reason we are just so dumb right now with dashing through these walls we can't even do it in our own jungle but anyways we can see that the generals are digging down so we're just going to jump onto him this forces the scud to try and help his teammate out he kind of gets baited really hard there and we actually pick up a nice double kill where we kill both the scud and the Jinar. very well played so you can see here that the batman is defending mid we're just going to life steal a bit off this camp get a really quick <laughs> clear on it but yeah we can see the batman right here he just explodes that that baldum has no chance either these lsu snipes are on point he just clicks them whenever a unit is in melee range and they just take full snipe damage for basically free because the lsu doesn't have to do any aiming we see various missy missing here and my lc makes a quick um joke about what my various said at the beginning of the match because this is a complete stomp so no that various is not going to be too happy about that and it's here we just stay around top waiting to do something of course we focus on the tower first i'm not going to really want to dive someone t so tanky like Varys without getting the tower down and we're able to actually just keep up the chase and able to pick up the kill. We get vision on them here at the bush so we're going to jump onto the Jinnar. Notice how I backed away though because I did not want to get flipped under tower by the Baldum. We would have definitely died if he did flip us. That's why as soon as we got that Jinnar to like 20-15% HP we just started kiting away which ended up working out for us very well because the baldum charged at us but it was not enough and <clears throat> the, we made enough distance between us and the baldum to the point where he could no longer charge and flip us under his own tower which is very very nice and see that my red is down here i don't even remember who took it like i look over here to see if scud took it and i don't think he has it i can't really tell but yeah it doesn't really matter we're just going to go straight to the blue we see batman's here he doesn't even have the red so I'm, I'm thinking to myself like who took this red right now for real the um even oh the scud has it okay but we we pick him up right there so we're able to get the kill the dragon actually almost killed the scud we can see that that we sidestep on from the baldemolt there to make sure that we do not get uh wild prisoned under the ground so very nice kind of avoiding the ult there <laughs> yeah, I think the dragon would have actually killed the enemy scud though had he not flickered away because that would have been pretty funny It hit him once but That was not enough because as soon as it hit him once he was like, oh I better not uh, stay around and risk that because he was at she was so low from us 
And as we can see the general here, so we're just going to ult, use our second skill, first skill combo, and he is down. You can see that I ulti here. I tried to stand right next to the Scud when he uses his ultimate to stay out of the range of it, but actually we still get hit. So that Scud still hits us with his full combo, even though we are hidden, which is pretty funny. We can see that the Varys and the Batman are here, and they w both walk into that side bush, so I know they're in there recalling. I don't really know how low they are, though, because I didn't check, so I'm just going to walk into here. Going to use my first skill and then dash out of the bush and that actually just cancels their recall we weren't able to do much but um that was kind of a super risky play i think i should have just left them to recall there because if they caught me out there then it would have been a super bad situation and it wasn't too hard to catch me out there so anyways we are just going to start this dragon right now because we see that batman was super zoned so they don't have a jungler with punish anymore any really um, lockdown, lockdown skills to really deal a massive amount of damage over this to this dragon in a short amount of time. We also have vision from Eveneth and Richter to the point where we can get that dragon for free, pretty much. But anyways, we're just waiting in the bush, seeing if we can get, see, if, seeing if we can just cheese somebody out and one shot. But it doesn't look like it's going to be. And as the very jumps in, she just gets blown up again. Like I was saying, guys. Those Elsu snipes at point blank range just deal so much damage. Completely ridiculous. I was playing Darcy, you know, a few days ago and I was literally getting hit for 90% of my HP. There you can see that we actually played it correctly, like I was saying earlier, and we just waited right next to the Scud while he ults. We're able to get our resets off and just poke the Jinnar super hard there. He takes a ton of damage. The Elsu actually gets a solo kill onto the Batman. The, our Elsu, Hoon, was doing such a good job this game, just landing those snipes at point blank whenever somebody was on him. So, very well played by the both of us this game. See? <clears throat> so, here, he actually lands another on that Jinnar Wow. But you can see here that we're just waiting. We have the Eternal Stone from the dragon so we're, of course we're going to want to be aggressive i don't i'm trying not to stand onto the prison while my ebeneth comes back up from it because it does slow you if you're on top i think about diving here but it's really hard because the two up were, there were varies and baldum both pretty tanky but anyways i'm just going to dive onto them not really much to commentate over at this point it's just a free-for-all where everybody is just killing each other and we are actually able to pick up an ace they don't respawn for another 20 seconds. That means we can just hit on this core for free. And that is the game. So GG guys. Very well played by us. Macro and micro wise. This is just a super, super impressive game from our coolant. I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. Hope the micro skills were able to help you all in becoming a better coolant. I'd love to hear your comments on if this helped you or not. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, guys.